Hey everyone, so we're going to be talking about similar polygons today. I want to remind you that two polygons are similar polygons if the corresponding angles are congruent and the length of corresponding sides are proportional. Alright, so if I were to tell you that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H are similar then that means that I can write similarity statements just like I could write congruency statements. Now, I'm going to use colors to help me out. So I've got my A to E. I've got B, F. I've got C and G. And then I've got D. And H. All right. Now, again, with these statements, you can write your similarity statements. So if you've got A, B, C, D, then you've got E, F, G, H. So your angles are congruent. But now you can also use that to write your similarity statement. So remember, A, B, C, D, move it up, B, C, D, and then that A comes back down. It's similar to E, F, G, H, move it up, F, G, H, E. So these right here, A, oop, B, and you notice they're just like catty corner to each other right here. All right, you can use that to also write your proportions. So AB over EF is going to equal BC over FG, CD over GH and DA or AD over EH, just so we have it matching still, all right? Now, this entire thing right here is an extended proportion or an extended ratio, essentially, set of ratios. You can use that to help you solve, but honestly, you don't need to be that extra, all right? And I'll tell, show you guys why in steps three, I'm sorry, in five and six, all right? Now, number one, list a pair of congruent angles in extended proportion that relates to corresponding sides. So we've got H and W, J and X, Y and K, and then Z and L. So I just write them out. H, J, K, L. Remember, angles are congruent. All right, so those are all of your congruency statements for your angles. The next are your similarity statements. So we're going to do H, J, K, L, pass it up, J, K, L, H. Now it's going to be similar to W, X, Y, Z, move it up, X, Y, Z, W. All right, you can use that to write your extended por proportion. So H, J, W, X is equal to J, K over X, Y is equal to K, L over Y, Z is equal to L, H over Z, W. This entire thing would be your extended proportion. I want you guys to do number two. All right, number three, determine whether the polygons are similar. The polygons are similar, write a similarity statement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my proportion. So I've got MN and then to DEF. So 
So I like to know which way it's oriented. So I've got M, N, P, Q. Move it up, N, P, Q, put it back, over D, E, F, G, push it forward, F, G, and then the D. So all we're going to do is plug the numbers in. So I've got MN, which is 10, DE, which is 15. So if we simplify that, that gets us two thirds. If that's the case, then this will also be our scale factor. So we have to check that that's the case for NP and EF. So we've got four, over six, that simplifies to two thirds as well. PQ over FG gets you six over nine, that also simplifies to two over three. And then right here, we've got the same thing again, we've got QM and GD, that gets you four over six, it's also the same thing. So yes, it is similar, and your K value is two thirds. You are responsible for number four, I will tell you that no, it is not similar, but I need you to tell me why it's not similar. All right, number five and number six. I like to figure out where it's set up. So I labeled them and I did A, B, C, D, and I did this as E, F, G. So it's A, B, C, D is similar to A, E, F, G set up my statements. A, E, F, G, two, E, F, G, A. All right, so I'm going to try to figure out what all it is that I'm missing. So A, B is Z. And it's similar to AE, which is 36, okay? X is BC, which is similar to 27. 28 is similar to Y. And then lastly, 30 is similar to 45. So you could set up an extended proportion and solve it, or you can do it one at a time. I'm going to use our first one and our complete one. So Z over 36 is equal to 30 over 45. I'm going to simplify that to make my life easier too and simplified. And it simplifies to 2 thirds. So then I can cross multiply and I get 36 times 2 is equal to 3z. So what is 72 divided by 3? And that's going to end up getting you 24. And another way that you could do it, if you see it, is 3 times 12 got you 36. So 2 times 12 is going to get you whatever Z is. Now, the extended proportion would be that we set it up and we do X over 27 and set it up with this exact same thing. And then once we solve for X, we would also use that to help us solve for Y. I'm going to have you solve for x whichever way you want to to set up one proportion and then once you're done solving for x solve for y but pause your video so then you can check your answer with mine all right so for x you guys should have gotten 18 and for Y, you should have gotten 42. All right? And that would be your final answer. So something similar is going to happen here. I recommend that you go ahead and label your points. So T, R, I is what I did. And that means I did N, G here. Now T and N, angle T and angle N are congruent. Angle R is congruent to angle G. 
and then leaving us with angle I being congruent to angle I, and that's just your reflexive property. So from that, you can write that TRI is similar to NGI. Write your similarity statements, and then you can either figure out your scale factor and multiply to figure out what X is and Y is, or you can set up proportions and do it that way. Once you're done, you will get the final answer of X being 6 and Y being 20. I want you guys to submit your work for all of the even numbers here. Thanks for watching.